Okay, problem 3.2.27. We've got this box and it's cut from a piece of cardboard that's 10 inches wide. So you see the 10 here, the 10 inches wide, 18 inches long. And they're going to cut a square out of each corner to fold it up into the box. So you would have your like length of the box here, your width here, and the X of the corners when it's folded up would be the height of the box. Uh, this total, this length here would be this whole 18x, take away this x and take away this x. So like 18 minus 2x. And then your width here, it's just this piece right here. So 10 here, take away this x, take away that x. So 10, take those two x's off. There's my width, there's my length, and again, this height that each of these is folding up would be the height of the box. So down here, that's where you see your length, your width, and your height. So after you do that, then part B, what is the volume? You need to multiply those three out. So if I take the 18 minus 2x, the length, times the 10 minus 2x, the width first, that'll give me like the area of this base. So that would be um, 18 times 10 is 180. There's a negative 20 and a negative 36, and then negative 2x times negative 2x would be a positive 4x squared. Combining these in the middle, I've got a negative 56 x plus my 4x squared, but that's just the area of the base. Then I still have to take that times the height of the box. So then I'd end up with 180 times x minus 56x squared plus the 4x cubed when I distribute this x out here, the height of the box times each of those. Then it goes on for the final question. So that, that right there would have been my volume. So my final question is the surface area. So if I take this flap here, which is the same as this flap here, which is the 18 minus 2x times an x, so that'd be 18x minus 2x squared, but I've got two of those. So double it. So I've got those two done. And then this one is the 10 minus 2x times this x. So that would give me 10x minus 2x squared. But again, I got to double that because I've got this left flap over here as well. And then the last one on the bottom down there, I've got the 10 minus 2x times the 18 minus 2x, which I already calculated right down here when I came up with my 180 minus 56x plus 4x squared for right there. So now if I, I guess I never multiplied this one out, but it, um, I didn't multiply this out either. So I've got uh, 20x minus 4x squared there, and I've got 36 x minus 4x squared there, and then this one. So if I combine this and that and that, that'll give me all of my sides. I think it says there's not a top on, on this box. It's made a rectangle, it's an inch long square X on the side cut out of the corners and the sides are bent upward. It doesn't say that we have a top on the box. So I think it would be just the five sides. Therefore, we've got a negative four X squared, a negative four X squared and a positive four X squared. This one would make wipe out one of those. So I just have one negative four X squared left. Um, let's see, then I've got a negative 56x 
a 20x and a 36x. So let's see, that'd be 56 positive and 50, those are all gone. And then that takes me to um, just this 180 that's sitting here. So then plus the 180 for my surface area of the entire thing. Something in that feels a little wonky, like I might have had a mistake, but you have the basic procedure there for calculating all of the parts. And this last piece right here was my surface area. So problem 3.2.27.